so welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title you clicked on it so you're pretty aware of what this video is going to be about um, but if not then you're probably just someone that like got a notification and you're my friend and you just decided hey I'm gonna support and watch this video that would be awesome too but if you're both that is just ten times more awesome but yes Take a look at your screen or your the description, whatever you're looking at right now. The Biatch bought it. Yes, I bought the Subculture Anastasia palette. I mean, I, just, I bought it. I, I just, what else can you say? It's in my hand. I bought it. It's on my eyes. I bought it. Disclaimer, I'm going to like put it out there right now. Disclaimer, I knew that I wanted this palette. The moment that they posted it on Instagram or social media in general I knew I was gonna get this palette because if you know me and if you watch my videos or Instagram I love fall colors like that is just my jam as my shoes so this palette just sh shout my name basically shouted my name and it was calling for me so I love my mustard colors. If you guys, again, like those who really know, like my like, makeup background, not saying makeup background, but like, you know, see me pretty much like more so on a daily basis or just literally follow me on Instagram, you know that these are colors that I rock on a daily. Like, I will definitely rock the avant garde or the unconventional colors. I will rock the random teal lip. I will rock the teal eye, a smoky eye. I will rock the mustards and the maroons. This is just a palette that I knew that I wanted before I saw a couple negative reviews. By a couple, I mean like I saw like two or three because I was saddened of the fact that these people could not make it work for them. I was like, why is this happening to you? I mean, I knew why it wasn't happening or why it wasn't working out for them because obviously they showed you why but it was just making me sad like I was just wanting them to appreciate not necessarily appreciate it more because I'm pretty sure they tried to appreciate it and they just couldn't because of what was going on with their palette but I just wanted more positive feedback from this palette but regardless of what was being said out there. Like, I'm in love with my Modern Renaissance palette and that one I use on myself, on clients. I use it on my, like, my bridal work. This, I know for sure I'm not gonna be using on my bridal work because of the, like, colors. I mean, I could totally use it for, like, I don't know, like, on my girlfriends so that they can totally, like, rock these colors if they decide to. But because of the formula I probably wouldn't wouldn't use it on my clients so again I am going to reiterate this I was going to buy this palette regardless I wanted all the colors that were in these palette these palettes this palette I knew that this was something that like hey I don't really have these colors in my collection lies lies um but it's like all together I don't really have a palette that's like this you know, I have them individually, but not a palette that's like this. So, of course, when I saw the, like, couple or a handful of videos that were, you know, like, not necessarily negative, but, of course, just people who just couldn't make the palette work for them, I was like, no, I'm not gonna listen. I mean, I was being very stubborn, but at the same time, I was just like, I was gonna buy this regardless of what they said or before I even, like, started watching their videos. I knew that, again, I was going to make it work for myself, and if it was really that bad, then I would just return it. After using it today, I'm not returning it. I actually was able to make it work for myself. I have a heavy hand when it comes to eyeshadows, so that's why I was kind of skeptical, like, oh crap, this might not even work out for me, but I made it work. Like, I didn't hit pan. I didn't experience actually I was ex trying to see if I would get a lot of fallout um, but it, it wasn't happening I mean I wasn't like going like this with my brush I was pretty much pressing the pigment onto my lids or like um, on my lower lash line and of course with the formula of the eyeshadows and the ingredients like the main ingredient of these eyeshadows I would expect fallout but like I said 
I didn't even brush or like blow off any product off of my palette. And as you can see, minimal like powder over my uh I don't know what I so like my palette. Yes, I do agree that it is very concerning that the first ingredient in all of the eyeshadows is talc. Um, whereas their uh, Anastasia's other eyeshadows, the main ingredient or the first ingredient, which is again the most potent and the strongest ingredient, is mica. So that could be another reason why those eyeshadows don't get as much fallout or those eyeshadows do not get as much, what's the word, um, like powder? I guess that's fallout too, right? Also with the texture of the um, eyeshadows, when specifically the Axis one, like it was just a tough texture. Like I was really scared that I would probably break the eyeshadow um, only because the moment you touch it, I kid you not, it swatches like super pigmented. Like I was trying to, again, like I said, I have a heavy hand. So when I was going to swatch it, I was going to do like the swirls and then swatch. With access, you really just need to tap your finger in it and then do a swatch. And I kid you not, it's really opaque. Like I was very surprised of how much it was going in my, um, on my lower lash line when I was applying it. Because I normally would grab more, grab more, but I literally just dab my little tiny smudger brush in and I, the whole, my whole lower lash line was covered. Like I was very surprised. And more so surprised that I didn't get any fallout. Keep in mind when I do my makeup or when I do my eyeshadow, I actually put my base on, which I'm currently using the paint pot from MAC. Um, because of that texture from MAC, I actually put a translucent powder on top of the eyeshadow and you will probably see it if I actually upload this tutorial. I am, um, If you want me to, I will totally upload it. Um, I would film the tutorial for you if you'd like. Um, but I put translucent powder over my eyes and then I start doing my eyeshadow. And I think especially with this palette that is highly suggested. I heard a lot of um, issues of the eyeshadows going darker on the skin like oxidizing. I didn't experience that to the point where I was like Oh my god, like this is supposed to be a peachy orange and now it's all of a sudden like a mandarin or tangerine. Like, or this color orange. Like, I didn't experience that. Um, it did get a little bit darker, but it wasn't to the point where I was like, Oh, like are you serious? This is not the color? I was actually trying to use this with an open mind and positive, um, what's it called? Vibe. Trying to make sure that Hey, if it didn't work, it's fine. I tried it. Now I know. But I tried it, and I'm like, I actually like it. I don't love it. I do not love it, but I do like it. I do gotta play around with the other colors a little bit more, um, just so that I can get a little bit more of a feel of, you know, different looks that I can do. I probably will most likely do a fall tutorial using this palette just so that I know, hey, like, this is what you can do with this palette, you know what I mean? But overall, um, one of the shades I'm just not fond of, um, for instance, that shade would be Cube. In the previous, um, what's it called? The previous clips, um, before the whole me talking about this palette, you will see on my, like, sw like as it's being swatched, I don't see it at all. I currently have it under my brow bone just as a highlight, and I think that's honestly what I'm going to be using it for. Um, we'll see how it works in the inner corner. I mean, I will definitely have to play with this palette a little bit more, but so far, after swatching and after kind of playing around with the colors that um, people were having more problems with, I'm okay with it. Um, the more so, like, glittery, I guess you can say, um, colors, for instance, Adorn, Electric, and Cube. It's probably something that you would have to use with a wet brush or with a wet finger, just so that you can really get that opaqueness, um, you can really get those flexes or reflexes. The packaging, I mean, must I say more, the Modern Renaissance was a big hit. I'm in love with this 
packaging. I love the color. I love the like two different colors that they chose, like this whole color, like color blocking, because again, it's something that I would wear probably. I can see why people can be upset because again, there were those um, YouTube videos that were like showing all the fallout or showing how it didn't blend but when I was actually blending it on myself again with the translucent powder underneath it was fine and like I mentioned before talc is the potent or main ingredient in this specific palette where a lot of other palettes not just the modern renaissance um, like for instance one of my favorite palettes from last year was the Manny MUA palette from Makeup Geek this um, what's it called? The main ingredient in this one was Mica, one of my favorite highlighting palettes from Kat Von D, the Alchemist palette. Again, main ingredient is Mica as well. And one of my other favorite palettes that is very similar to the Manny MUA palette now that I think of it. My Tarte um, palette, the Tartis, Tartis Pro? Tar Tartis Pro, I guess. Tartis, Tartis Pro. You know, you know what I mean. This is also um, mainly the like first ingredient, the opponent ingredient in their eyeshadows is Mica as well. And Tarte is known um, to have like hit or misses with their palettes, but again, it's Mica in their palette. Those are probably one of like I just grabbed a few and because I just grabbed whatever was closest to me. But those are the palettes that I know that are a little bit more pigmented, especially the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. Like that thing goes on like like I see that from a mile away. As a licensed esthetician, um, when I was studying a little bit more about ingredients, I know that mica tends to be a little bit more on the expensive side or the more pricier um, ingredient. So I can see why, you know, Anastasia's brand or the makers of this palette probably try to go with something a little bit more cost efficient. But also, I can see from a consumer's point of view, if you're gonna make it cheaper or use cheaper products. Why are you keeping the price point the same? But at the same time, it's like from a brand, a company point of view, like, of course, they were trying to make profit. And so, yeah, you got to understand, you know, it takes money to make money. Overall, because, like I mentioned, this is a palette that I know I would be using all the freaking time. I'm probably going to try and try and try to use this almost every day until, I don't know, maybe a back-to-school look? or I, God knows what looks I'll come up with this palette. But because it is a palette that I know I'm going to be using for, you know, like ever, um, I would probably give it like a 3.5. Um why I won't give it the extra 1.5 is because I understand there is a little bit of fallout like and if you are a heavy handed like myself it's kind of hard to be very gentle with these um so if you are heavy handed I can see why you hit pan let's be honest you're gonna hit pan price point uh because I understand the business point of view like you know, you're trying to be more cost efficient, but at the same time, you're keeping at the same price point. That kind of sucks for the consumer, so that's my point five. <laughs> like, well, I didn't give you that extra point five. Like, why I didn't was it's not a four instead of a three point five, if you know what I'm saying. This palette is meant for the person that will go outside the box, or not necessarily outside the box, but just like someone that you know if you know that you're gonna wear these colors I would suggest buying this if you know how to work with these colors I would suggest buying this but if you're someone who's just gonna buy it because it's Anastasia's palette I wouldn't suggest buying it if you're gonna buy it because you know you want to try out makeup and it's like your first time I wouldn't get it because you honestly would have like the hardest time trying to figure out different colors there's not a lot of transition colors in here that you can play around with or make as an everyday look or there's no like highlighting like for your brow bone it's just a palette that you kind of have to know how to work with it in order to understand it if you guys have any questions about the palette itself or if you would like to see tutorials on the palette I'm more than happy to do so I'm um, just go ahead and leave your comments down below go ahead and Instagram me um, again follow me on my social media platforms especially my Instagram because I am more active on there thank you guys so much for bearing with me and for 
like sitting down and you know listening to me rant or listening to me celebrate because there's a lot of celebrations with this palette that a lot of people are not celebrating but at the same time I understand where these negative feedback or negative reviews can come from I totally get it like I'm not bashing you guys for trying to make it work for yourselves but it didn't work I like this palette so far, so so far I'm not going to return it, but again, if there's things that kind of come up after a week and it doesn't work out for me, I'll let you guys know on Instagram or I'll let you guys know right away here. I'll be like, I'm just going to record it through on my phone and be like, don't buy it. But as of right now, I would highly suggest it for people who are like me who really love colors like this and would wear this like on a daily basis. Let's be real. All right, ladies and gents, thanks so much for listening to my rant or to my positive feedback about the palette. I hope to see you guys in a future video or I hope you guys see me in a future video because that means I'm creating content that you guys like to see. All right, guys. Bye. Thank you so much for all your support. Love you all.